Spiritual Exodus is the fourth full-length album from Exorcist Phobia, and this is a Czechia-based thrash metal band who have always been uh, like very keen students of not only uh, like the Bay Area and New Jersey thrash, but also the crossover thrash metal of the United States in the late 80s. And that means that they are uh, well-schooled in the sort of spirited return of neo-thrash metal in the early 2000s, uh, but they were never a kind of cookie-cutter pizza thrash beyond their sort of early beginnings. So they were kind of riding that early wave, but they sort of found their way out of it with a more traditional, uh, very tuneful, and sometimes accessible form of, of uh, classic thrash metal as they moved on with their sound over time. Now, it took them a couple records to get it right. I think About Us, Without Us was like fully almost, I would say it was fully there in terms of the tuneful sort of alternative rock touched thrash with a little bit of crossover in there there were some alt rock moments on that record that i didn't like but uh by the time that they got to their 2020 record at digitality i found it to be very notable and very tuneful it was like uh like if nuclear assaults survive had actually worked you know it was it was uh, a, a very idea dense record that had a lot to say and i ended up including it on a list of underrated thrash for that year so i was excited to hear they came out with a second or a, a new album in that style that was kind of continuing on with that feeling because they had pretty much nailed it so let's check out a song from this record to see uh just uh how bay area is it are they are they nailing it again and how does it sound compared to the last I just rose up again To continue to serve the plan He gets your bodies All goes through our games Shut down your back so at this point, it doesn't feel like Exorcist Phobia are uh, breaking a sweat even. It sounds like they're, they've just gotten really good at this style and they're they're iterating with a more tuneful uh, but fairly simple record here that uh, has a lot to say, but it still sticks within the sort of late 80s barrier realm, Bay Area realm, uh, with some, I would say, Anthrax and Testament-esque uh, nods in here uh, basically making for a melodic thrash metal record that is heavy and well produced um i don't know that they nail the aggression they, they're really not like the evil thrash metal side of things that i usually enjoy but in terms of uh finding a pristine um uh, classic thrash metal sound from in the united states specific style that is both evolved from but also better than what a lot of these uh, more mature and older thrash metal bands are doing. I don't think there's another band doing this style better than them, uh, That um, other than maybe Overkill. They're still doing a fantastic job. Uh, so this is a... Um, just an exceptional heavy metal record when you get down to it. I think there's, there's a lot more references you could make throughout this record and find uh, how those fit. And I don't really have anything that deep to say about it. It's just a, a catchy record with plenty of riffs, and it is effectively the slightly more accessible side of thrash that um, somehow still manages to be heavy and exciting to listen to. I think the second half of the record drags a little bit. It doesn't necessarily uh, hold up to a hundred listens, but I got through about 30 actually, because it was uh, just a, a joy to listen to this record and I, I enjoyed its sound. So ultimately that's a moderately high recommendation for me. I think that the uh, the guitarists are especially impressive here and everyone is really on point. The, the, uh, the, uh, curation of the visual design of this thing is, is outstanding uh, i love the cover painting and i think they've really uh come out with their best record yet and the only thing that's holding me back is that i think some of these songs just kind of drag in the end and uh, they, they overstate uh, themselves a bit with some of the songwriting so uh, moder moderately high recommendation for me overall go ahead and check this out uh when it comes out tomorrow and read the uh the review if you want uh, more of my thoughts.